Hello everybody, I'm The Scholar and welcome to a brief tutorial on how to turn your USB into a disk. Now it's obviously not a physical change, um, it's more say you don't have a disk drive on your PC like I don't because I didn't feel it was necessary. You can actually transfer the files onto a USB and then use that as a startup. So the easiest example for this was like the Windows 10 update at the moment. You can get that um, as a free upgrade slash test if you've already got a previous version. So I've got Windows 7. So you can come here and download what you need. Um, you download, you know, whatever language you've got. Um, but the thing is, when you download it, it'll download it into a disk image. And what that'll want you to do is to burn it. Now you can go download some image burning software. Uh, there's quite a few ones that are free or you can use evaluations or all that stuff. But it can be annoying and you gotta find a good one that works and you gotta figure out how to use it. So an easier way is to use an unpacker. So something like WinZip or or, uh, or JZip or something like that, something something that'll unpack files. Um, and I'll show you that in a minute, but the first thing I'm gonna show you is, is to format. So sometimes it may not be in the right uh, format or I might want you to change it, or you might wanna change it, or you might wanna delete everything on there and make sure you've cleared everything, or even the hidden files. So it's really simple, you just right click on it. You can see I've got my USB down here, removable disk E, not a very inventive name, I never bothered renaming it come down to format and that'll bring this up. Now, if you're not sure what you're doing, all you have to do is click restore default devices. And you, you can see it just switched everything for me. I had it on the uh, N, NTFS. It's not gonna make a massive difference what you choose here. Click quick format too, because that'll do it all for you. It doesn't matter too much for this case because basically you're just doing a re restore. Um, if you want to format it for specific options, then it's a good idea to look up what you're formatting. Uh, say for example, if you want to specifically, you can see the option there, create an MS-DOS startup disk. So like if you are starting Windows from scratch, you could go to another computer, plug it in, load the images on there, uh, and sorry, format it first, so it recognizes it as a disk when you plug it in instead of a USB, and then put on the files and it'll load it up. But for the purpose of this, you can just click restore default devices, quick format, start. And it's just giving you a warning there, it'll delete all the data. So I've gone through and checked all these folders and gotten everything out of there, so that's fine. Okay, so you can see there, format complete. Nice. That's done, we can close that. Now we'll come back in here. I've already downloaded the image for Windows 10. Open this with WinZip. If you open it with WinZip, it'll bring it to this. And you can see here it's actually got all the files you need. So if you got an image burner like it tells you to do here, it says, you know, sign it all up, download it. Easiest way to convert a nice OC user. Windows disk image burner. Yes, you can download that and do this. I'm sure all of you have an unpacker, so this is just easier because you've got it. Open up in that and it'll show you all the files here. Come across uh, to your USB. So we'll open this back up. And then it's just a simple case of moving all these items across. Okay, so as you can see here, it's uh, just transferred all the files. Um, and then if I wanted to install Windows 10, all I'd do is click Setup and it would run it all as if you had it on a disk. Um, I won't do that now because that's just a waste of time, but I just wanted to show you how you can change the USB into a disk and this is the way. If you're going to do a clean install, um, then you're going to have to boot it off of the, uh, through the BIOS, you're going to have to change the boot order so that that USB is at the top and then it'll see that as the disk and it'll boot off of that um, and then run through like a normal one. But for the purpose of this exercise, that is now a disk. Um, so as you can see, like the files look like they would if you just open up an exploited disk and that'll work fine. So thanks for watching fellow scholars and I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you've all learned something. If you did like this video, hit the like button and share the video. Also comment down below to let me know what you thought of this one or what else you want to know uh, in the future. I'm open to ideas, anything you want. Like I've said in previous videos, if I don't know it, I'll look it up. So feel free to ask me whatever. Um, but if I don't get any ideas, I'll probably just go to Google and type in how to and just do the first one that comes up or something like that, just to keep this going and keep imparting my knowledge. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. It really helps me out and I'll see all you guys in the next one. Bye. Bit across there, we can close that. Minimize that. Then you come across and click on install and that's telling you it's gonna try and download it. If you click next, uh, you don't you do whatever there. It's saying preparing files for install. And then it says discovering existing files. So it fires those files that we just copied in there. And with any luck, 
when you click finish, it's all done. So you can click play, open up and it's working.